Hi everyone, it's Kaylee here with Microsurvey. One of the many strengths of Microsurvey Starnet is its ability to use data from many different manufacturers. In today's video, I am going to combine data sets from a Trimble GPS and Leica Total Station to show you just how quick and easy this workflow is. Step one is to open up the program and create a new project. You can decide what you want the project's name to be and you also can navigate to wherever you want the end project files to be saved. The first thing I'm going to do is go into my project options. I'm going to choose 3D because we're bringing in GPS data. I'm going to choose the units um, as meters and I'm going to change my coordinate system to the uh, local coordinate system in my area. Uh, then under the modeling tab, I'm going to upload a geoid file. Now that I have my project all set up, I can work on bringing in the data. The next step is to add the file that has the adjustment data in it. All this file is, is a notepad file that we use to put the information from the PPP results from NR Canada. Um, this is a PDF they provide after we send in our static survey data. I'll show a little screenshot of what that looks like here now. The next step is to use the GPS data importer utility to bring in our Trimble GPS data. We select the format, we navigate to the file, and we hit open. We then hit import and then close the dialog. The next step is to add in your Leica total station data. You're going to want to hit input and then Leica DBX. When this dialog comes up, you're going to scroll to your DBX database file. You're going to select where you want the output file to save. And then you're going to hit import. A dialog will then pop up with your observations on it. And then you hit OK. After you're done that, you're going to go to the data input files and add a file. You're then going to navigate to where you just saved your DBX converted file to and then open and that will add that information to your project. So we can see here we've got our static GPS data, our RTK GPS data and our total station data all in one file here. So it looks like we are ready to perform the adjustment. You can either go run and adjust network or hit the hot toggle. I don't have my output window open here, so just bear with me. Here we go. Once you perform the adjustment, you can scroll through all of your information on the output window scroll down and see that the adjustment has passed um, right here in our little summary we have our chi-squared test we have our error factors and that's it that's all there is to it thanks so much for tuning in and i hope this video was helpful